Hey, it's Danielle, the Domestic Sciences, and it's time for another Blue and White Shinrazeri Open Floor Plan Home Tour. I'm going to show you how to style your blue and white pieces with natural elements like wood and straw. Now, I have an open floor plan, so we're going to integrate some blue and white Shinrazeri into a global design style with neutral colors. So, let's get started. So let's get started in my home office. I wanted to create a global design style with a neutral color palette. I really wanted to feature some of my carved wood elements and some of my cultural home decor pieces. Now I wanted the blue and white Shinrazeri to accent the global style and add just a pop of color to the space without overtaking the room or pulling focus. All right, so let's talk about some of my unique decor pieces. Now, I recently purchased this tribal necklace at my local home goods. I love the design that they created with two different types of shells, and I love the straw backdrop. Now, these pawpaw necklaces are really beautiful and unique. Now, I have a couple other videos featuring some of my other tribal necklaces, including my attempt to make my own with some feathers. So I'll put a link to those videos in the description box below in case you're interested in learning more about them. I wanted to highlight some of my human form metallic figurines that I recently picked up at my local home goods. So in today's video, I am going to use them as bookends. Now, two of them are a part of a set, but I decided to break up the set so that the look isn't too matchy matchy. Now my metallic accent color is gold. So on the other side of my bookshelf, I'm using a twisted knot from Sagebrook Homes atop of my white decorative boxes. Now I'll link the high-end haul video that I have in the description box if you wanna learn more about my high-end home good dupes. So this dark blue jar is my latest Shinrazeri find. Now I am using dark blue Shinrazeri accents in this video and I think that the dark blue really pairs well with the wooden elements and I think it really pops in the space. I also picked up this wooden tree carving from Home Goods, and I'm using it as a set of bookends. Now adding more natural wood carvings adds to the global decor styling that I'm going for. Now on the other side of my wooden book in, I am going to create a simple vignette using a dark blue Shinrazeri bud vase that I picked up at Home Goods, and I'm going to accent it with my white watch sea turtle that I found at my local Steinmart. So on the top shelf of my bookcase, I created a metal vignette using the other half of my metallic figurine set. But I'm also pairing this bright brass um, figurine with a dark bronze vintage armillary spear from Bombay and Company. And I just wanted to play the two different tones of metal against each other. In the center, I'm using another dark blue vase that I got from my local home goods, and it has two different shades of blue to add a little bit more layers to the blue and white. So for my final vignette, I'm using my matching decorative box. And then I topped it with a beautiful textured coral bowl. And right next to that vignette, I put just a simple coral wreath. Now this particular white vignette just adds a coastal element to today's global inspired look.
In my open floor plan dining room, I am going to style two blue willow tablescapes. Now in the first tablescape look, I wanted to keep the look very light and airy. So for the foundation of this tablescape, I'm using a blue and white striped tablecloth from Home Goods. Now this tablecloth features multiple shades of blue. So I decided to pair it with a hydrangea centerpiece also featuring multiple shades of blue hydrangeas. Now to keep the look light and airy, I decided to add in a few cream hydrangeas to the floral arrangement. And of course, I used a transparent hurricane vase with straw details at the bottom. Now the straw detail adds just a little bit more texture to the look and adds in some of those earth tone elements. Now I'm using wood salad bowls to tie into the wooden elements that you're going to see across my open floor plan global design. Now I use a white textured salad plate from L Home Decor. And my dinner plate is a classic blue willow dinner plate from Royal Stafford. The burlap charger plates also add an additional layer of texture and natural elements to this global look. For my second blue willow tablescape look, I wanted to add in more blue, of course. So the first thing I did is I switched out the transparent hurricane vase and I replaced it with my blue chinoiserie jar. I also moved the wooden salad bowls off of the place setting and I set them off to the side. Now moving the bowls um, to the side actually takes up more space on the table and it creates a fuller look as opposed to the more minimal first blue willow look that I did. I also paired the blue willow dinner plates with my vintage Bombay and Company salad plates. Now I just love these salad plates because each of them has a different pattern. I love the dark blue trim on the outside and that there's white space in the middle. The medallion really draws your eye in and I think it just pairs so well with the blue willow pattern. So if you haven't seen that video, I did do a Shinrazri haul where I went into more detail about these plates and some of my other Shinrazri finds. I'll put a link to that video in the description box below as well. But I did notice that when I added more blue to the tablescape, it really did center the look and it allowed the wooden elements on the table to really pop. So leave a comment in the box below and let me know which of my Blue Willow Tablescape looks you like the most. So before we move on to the living room, I wanted to let you know that today's video is a part of a YouTube collaboration entitled Blue and White Shinrazri. Now the hosts for this collaboration are Glamour Ellen, Luxury Living Within, and of course myself, Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. The co-hosts are Sassu Glamstyle, Cheryl Lambert, Miriam's Creative Corner, Denise Glamstyle Living, Amethyst Adventures, Deborah Cabasa's Home Living, The Grace Life DIY Home Decor, and Carol Rains. Now I'll have each of the host channels linked in the description box below as well as a link to the collaboration playlist. Be sure to stop by the playlist and check out the other Blue and White Shinrazri videos. All right, so now let's talk about the cultural elements that I am using in my neutral living room. Now, one of the first pieces that I wanted to put in this room was my wooden Ashanti stool. I absolutely love this hand carved African stool. I got it from a local African shop uh, shortly after I closed on my house. And I was saying earlier that I was going to tie in very similar uh, finished wooden elements across all the open floor plan spaces in my home. So that made this particular piece just the perfect um, thing to integrate into my neutral living room. Now, right up under it, I do have a more contemporary, modern, commercialized piece, and that is the Sagebrook Home Torso Statue in white. 
um, that I purchased from Home Goods. I love this piece and I think it looks great in this space. It is a large piece and it kind of has a museum quality type feel to it. So I thought it was perfect to put in my fireplace area to keep with that neutral theme that I'm doing in my living room. At the very bottom, I have like a bleached driftwood round vase that is oversized and it's one of those pieces I absolutely love gives me beach um, vibes and this one was made in Indonesia very beautiful piece I'm very happy to have it and I think it is a nice piece that pairs very well with the repose gray paint color that I have in this room so as you can see my living room is very neutral I'm putting mostly white decor elements with some wooden elements in as well the reason for that is because I really was working around my art piece that I have in my living room at the moment so it's mostly black and white with some nice earth tones in there so I wanted to make sure I kept this room as neutral as possible as much as I love it I don't necessarily care for the way the cobalt blue and rosary repairs with this art piece so I decided to keep this room a lot more neutral All right, so on the other side of my fireplace, I am using my John Richard freeform um, sculpture dupe that I found at my local home goods. Now the original piece you can find at um, Neiman Marcus and I'll put a link to a description in the box below if you're interested in that piece. On the second row, I did put in my Paw Paw collar. This is one of my newest pieces that I also found at my local home goods. And at the bottom, I stacked up my wood and jute boxes and I wanted to give some height in a platform for my simple white ceramic ginger jar that I also purchased from Home Goods. And off to the side, I have a shell sphere. So again, on this side of the fireplace, I'm mixing some contemporary elements as well as some cultural elements as well. I'm keeping the colors very light and neutral. I'm featuring a lot of white pieces with just pops of earthy elements. All right, so when it comes to adding the blue and white shinrazeri in this space, I chose to only use one piece because I think it works the best with what I currently have. I have a dark blue and cream shinrazeri jar from Gold International. It also has some dark brown elements, so I thought it was a perfect uh, piece to pair with a lot of the wooden elements in this space. I'm hoping to find more pieces like this to add to my shinrazeri collection. But for now, I think it's the best piece to use that kind of works with what I've got going in this room and that doesn't really conflict too much with my artwork. So when it comes to open floor plan decorating, all of your spaces need not perfectly match, but you do want some sense of coordination between the three spaces. So in this particular instance, the rooms that mirror each other, I really wanted to make sure they were spot on. So I did use a lot of dark blue shinrazi in both of those spaces. And as you look from one room to the next, it is very coordinated. However, in the living room, I decided to scale back on the blue and white shinrazi, but I still kept the earth tone and neutral um, global theme in the living room and as you can see from the um, cross section here all three of the rooms coordinate with each other and yet only two of the rooms really focus in on the blue and white it still has a very cohesive well thought out look across my open floor plan space so I'm Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.